morning from Nozawa in Japan. Just left the cities. We've been in Osaka, Kyoto, Yokohama, Tokyo. Just been to Disneyland and now we've rented a car and we've come on a little road trip. <laughs> we've got four nights and we're staying in a place called Nozawa which I think is famously known in the winter as like a ski resort and it's where you can see the snow monkeys in the onsens. Obviously it's summer here at the moment but we're just currently off. Apartment host told us that there's this little market that's right on the top of this mountain that I'm looking at. So we're heading up to the gondola. I'm absolutely out of breath. It's like a 20 minute walk from where we're staying. We have got a car but they charge so much for parking around these places that we just decided to walk for 20 minutes. <laughs> we're gonna go and explore that and I think we're gonna try and spend most of the day up there. He also said there's like a kids playground up there and I don't know what else but we're just gonna go and have a look and thought I'd bring you along with me for the day just to see what it's like in a little bit more of a rural Japan. So if you're heading to Japan and you want something that's maybe a little bit off the beaten track, not city vibes, a little bit more countryside, it is beautiful. I just had to purchase tickets for the gondola which were 2,500 yen uh, per adult for a return trip and then the kids were free because zero to six year olds were free which is handy for us. So it's 5,000 yen, which I think is about 25-ish pounds um, and now we're going to go jump in the gondola. It's not cold, it's like fresh. Yeah. Feels fresh, not cold. I'm wearing a vest top and I'm not freezing, but it is like fresh. <laughs> smells lovely, there's loads of flowers up here. Um, and they gave us this little wild, wild flowers guidebook, but we found the market, it's tiny, but that coming up here was just an experience anyway. So we're gonna go there, they've got a playground and I'm gonna go see if we can get a cup of coffee and then something to eat because I'm starving. <laughs>
so high up here that we've actually ended up in the clouds. Um, I think it's meant to be raining down in the town um, and here, like you can see behind me, you literally can't see anything because you're on the camera. Oh, actually, I can feel it raining. I think it's starting to rain. So we're literally in the rain cloud, which is really weird. It actually feels a little bit cool. Um, and it's making the floor really wet and everything you touch really wet. <laughs> I've never been in something like this before. I head back over to the playground and there's a little van just, where is it? Here, um, that is selling burgers and it's so nostalgic of like that smell of um, farmers markets back in England, especially where we lived in Suffolk, where they would do the burgers and sausages. It's just that smell of like, I don't know, a cheap burger, but they're like a thousand yen here, which is like fiver. I can't think how much they were back home, but I feel like they weren't a fiver. <laughs> and we've just come back down to the dungeon now. Now we're going to walk back to our apartment which should take us about hopefully 10 minutes on the way down because it was on the way up, uphill here, it's downhill on the way back. Um, and we're going to go and get our car and we're going to just go for a little drive because it, the sun has come out, the clouds are moving. It's like Teletubby land. Um, so we're going to go for a little drive and get a little bit of lunch and see what we can do really. We just drove on this road past um, this amazing kids uh, playground and like farm shop and I was like oh that looks like a farm shop um, but we weren't too sure because we've not seen farm shops here in Japan so we were like well let's turn around and go and have a look because we could kill a little bit of time here and we've just come here and it is we've caught like the last hour of it open and I'm going to show you because it's amazing I've got a tropical soda and I'm going to show you this place it's insane the farm shop you can get all like fresh produce in there and then this is all the kids playground they've got swings they've got an obstacle course they've got climbing walls here more swings more stuff climbing frames a sand pit they've got bikes footballs everything 